I have spent a great deal of time in the Manosphere helping men level up their physical and mental states. But there's something I've noticed about people the more I talk to them about retention some of them are eager to dismiss these ideas as esoteric jargon that doesn't have the real-world scientific basis it needs. This is the myth I want to quell in this video. The benefits that come with retention have been described by some people who practice it as superpowers. Now you may call that hyperbolic, but the human mind does not have many words to describe these euphoric feelings. There are scientific ways to describe both the benefits of the retention discipline, as well as the deeper physiological changes that happen in your body. So listen on to understand the concrete empirical evidence that drives adherence of the retention discipline. To truly make sense of why retention works, you need to go back to the basics. Understand not just our biological being and physiology, but also our history as a species and the many thousands of years of evolution. Human males, just like males of any species, are the ones that carry the seed of human life. It is the most vital fluid on the planet from the perspective of continuing our species. Men throughout history have worked, toiled, fought, and amassed resources and power just to have the chance to embed this seed in as many women as possible. This is the male mating strategy, and it has worked for thousands of years, but there's a problem. Like anything in life, there is no value to something if there is no hard work or sacrifice behind it. Release and depletion feel pleasurable to you because the dopaminergic response system in your brain is flowing with feel-good chemicals just so you continue procreating. This is the fundamental way your brain is wired. But this pleasure for the longest time had only come from grueling hard work as a man and being an attractive and powerful male first. It was almost like a constant rat race but served very well our underlying biological and reproductive imperatives. But this dopamine system has now gone into overdrive. In the modern world, it can be released for pleasure and feel-good chemicals too easily. That internal evolutionary reward mechanism has now gone haywire. It has become a button you can press and release the dopamine you need. And do you know the worst part of any addiction? You have almost become an addicted lab mouse that repeatedly presses pleasure buttons to get that same feeling of accomplishment that high-value men in history used to have after actually mating. There comes a point of diminishing returns where more and more of the same stimulus is needed just to replicate the same feeling of high as before. So what do you do? You seek greater and greater stimuli each time, constantly raising the paradigm for what gives you that same feeling of high as before. You indulge in more aggressive forms of adult content and deplete yourself several times a day. If you've reached this critical juncture, understand that you need to turn back quickly. When your dopaminergic system and pleasure hormones are over-released in the brain, over time their receptors get increasingly immune to its effects. This means that your mind is resetting how it processes these feel-good chemicals and making you do more and more to stimulate it. This is when you've reached a point where life and your perception of the world feel hollow and bland. You feel unexcited and unenthusiastic unless you go down the same path of depletion. Your new normal is a bleak and colorless existence because you have completely messed up the way your brain processes your hormones and chemicals. This is where the discipline of retention comes in and disrupts this vicious cycle. Like any addiction, you will feel symptoms of withdrawal when you embark on this journey but understand that this is exactly the time to push further ahead and retain. When the constant cycle of PMO is broken, your brain craves the release of the same chemicals it has gotten ever so used to. It wants you to indulge in the same basic pleasure activities that you did before, so the dopamine release your brain once finally happens to make you feel serene and pleasured. And here's the toughest part. For a good few weeks, your mind will be in a state of numbness. Perhaps even in life, you will feel nervous and anxious, existence will feel bland, and you will not feel the same joy that you used to. This is where 99% of men give up in their pursuit and fall into the same crater of pleasure. Understand this on a cognitive and mental level, and you will rise above chasing these fleeting pleasures in pursuit of a larger goal. The dopamine response system and the dopamine receptors in your brain are being reset. Their sensitivity to feel-good chemicals is slowly increasing back to normal. But while that happens, you are prone to feeling down and craving release. Keep pushing through, wither the storm of desire that comes down on you. And I promise, it will pass eventually, and on the other side is a blissfully sunny day where everything feels more vibrant and alive than ever before. This is exactly what it feels like to do the dopamine detox, that is, to reset to normal the production of hormones and the balance of feel-good chemicals in your brain. 
It also increases the sensitivity of the receptors in the brain to dopamine, allowing you to see the joy and beauty in every little thing in life. I believe the most tragic thing in the modern world is that most men have never truly experienced a life devoid of this dopamine overrun and have no point of reference to compare their perception to. They are born and then chucked into a world that preys on their desires and feeds them dopamine stimuli for profit. The entire paradigm has been raised to a dangerous degree while they live in complete unawareness of how much more colorful the world truly is. This internal fullness and contentment bleed into every other area of your life. You no longer chase the fleeting highs of lustful impulse and start to come across as less desperate and more genuine even to the women you meet. All of this is deeply rooted in the fundamental rewiring of your masculine brain and changing the disturbed balance of hormones in your body. Your hair starts to grow thicker and your skin becomes clear. You radiate an irresistible glow that gives you a kind of confidence that can never be replicated or faked. Human mating is an extremely complex game that is sometimes hard to rationally explain. We are a species honed in by millions of years of evolution. Our rationality is a mere front for the massive cognitive and emotional systems that lie underneath. But these are systems with a kernel that can be scientifically understood, and that understanding can help us cognitively curate our behavior to be optimally directed toward our goal. This is why this channel exists. There are concepts flying around you that you flail your hands trying to grab and understand, but these ever-evasive ideas need to be explained and enacted with the help of guiding masculine wisdom. If that sounds interesting, join the fastest growing online community of men dedicated to building lives that are truly worth living. Like the video and hit the subscribe button for more. You cannot afford to miss the knowledge and wisdom this channel hosts. Stay strong and stay humble.